Hi, my name is Willow. Welcome to our amazing kids. Today I'm going to be making salad. The first thing you're going to do is chop your vegetables. Make sure you have a grown-up around to, to help you. You're going to want to chop off the top and the bottom because those are just not very tasty. You're going to want to cut it into small pieces. Make sure you have a sharp knife because carrots are hard to chop. up to help you when you chop carrots because you could hurt yourself. You could slip and cut your finger. You're going to want to put these in a bowl. You can chop two just in case. That's what I'm going to do. You, it's optional to leave the carrot skin on, but I would recommend it because the carrot skin is very healthy for you. And if you want to, it's totally optional if you want to um, leave the carrot skin on or off. But you do need a peeler. Okay, now that we're done with the carrots, we can chop the cucumber. We're probably going to only need one cucumber because this is a big one. You can um, chop the cucumber into quarters if you want. I'd recommend that because it makes it better to eat. It may make it less hard. And you can cut it into quarters and eat it easily. You could put this in your bowl with carrots. Chop it into quarters and put it in your bowl with your carrots. You're not going to need a very sharp knife for cucumber because it's pretty soft. If you're good at chopping, then you can chop two at a time. Make sure you chop them not too big, but also not too small. You can put as much cucumber as you want in there. It will take a bit to chop though, since there's so much. Cucumber is very healthy for you, so you can put it in salads, you can have it by itself, or you could put it in ranch dressing which I would recommend because it's very tasty. Carrots and ranch dressing is good too. Now you can chop your tomatoes it's perfectly optional if you want to chop your tomatoes, but if you chop tomatoes, you will need a sharp knife because if you're not careful, then the tomatoes will squirt on you. Don't like, um, use it as like a saw and don't like chop it like that. Because if you chop it like that, then the tomato will squirt on you and it stains pretty bad, especially on dresses and stuff like that. To 
tomatoes are really, really healthy for you. They make good snacks, too. Like, if you want a little snack, um, you can use tomatoes. You can make, like, a tomato or carrot. You can make a tomato, carrot, and um, cucumber salad. Or you can make a salad like I'm doing. Make sure to wash all of your fruits and veggies before you put it in your salad. Because then it will not um, be as healthy because it will have like dirt and stuff on it. Now that you're done chopping your tomatoes, you can put as many as you like. You can take your bowls. And put a little bit of the fruits and vegetables in. Not too much, but also not too little. Now you can um, put the salad in. You can use any type of salad, but I would recommend this type. Because this type is very tasty. You can put anything you want on your salad, like bacon bits. You can sprinkle these on like this, or you could use a spoon. We also have other stuff. These are perfectly optional if you want to put up on your salad. You don't have to though, but these are um, pretty tasty. You don't want to put too many, but you also don't want to put too little. You can put these too, but these are okay. I don't, um, I don't really like these, but some other people may. So I don't really want these on my salad. You should definitely add croutons, those um, are really, really good on salad. Croutons taste really, really good with salad. They're perfectly optional though. If you want to put on on your salad, go ahead. I would recommend them though.
you can even put raisins on it, but I would not really recommend that. I mean, it's perfectly optional. You don't have to. So, I don't really want raisins on my salad. Are a mix of this is like a trail mix kind of thing you can put these on your salad I haven't tried them so I don't know if they're tasty but those are really good if you want like a healthy salad I would recommend putting more vegetables like um, I don't know. These are really good. I haven't tried them on salad though. And I've never tried these, so I'm going to put just a few on my salad. You can put ranch on anything. Um, you can put ranch on your salad. It doesn't matter what type. It just matters what type you like. This is grape ranch. I don't, I've never tried this, so I'm not sure if I like it. You can um, put different types of ranch on your salad. You don't have to put ranch, but if I would recommend it though. There's lots of different types, like grape ranch, um, avocado ranch, like those, garlic ranch. You should um, try different things. Thanks for watching our amazing kids enjoy your salad.